good morning all of you good morning ma'am morning ma'am good morning beta uh, so today's thought what does it say beta one child one teacher one book and one pen can change the world so what is the connectivity see parents are always there remember that but here comes the contribution of a teacher in a child's life it's very important beta it's so important that the personality depends upon the teachings of a teacher so it can it does change the world it does because the thinking the ways of your behavior who you are what you are it all depends on the things that you grab the things that you grasp from your te teachers teachings that's how you are formed that's how you are made so it all depends upon the teacher how to train you how to make you is it clear yes it's clear so one book that means you read one pen that is you write whatever observations you have whatever things that you imbibe that you get that you absorb is executed by your writings your thoughts are put in black and white so you become a very good poet you become a very good author you become a very good a thinker and that thought of yours does make a difference in life you understand beta yes ma'am so take things very importantly life is very important beta let's not waste it okay beta yes all of you understood it's standard this is what all about yes. so your life is actually made by teachers you understand yes ma'am now i'm going to show you certain slides let me know from where to begin so remember we have done this have we yes ma'am we had completed this yes sodium on fire right in water observation we have done this one also yes right? okay just let me know so reaction with water is over what do you say yes ma'am this is the last slide we have completed okay till last slide we have completed that's good and what about acids do you have to begin with acids or that also yes. is completed you have to begin with acids right yes okay thank you beta i was not that sure so i had to ask you beta fine so what have we gone through beta we have finished reaction with oxygen to form oxides reaction with water to form hydroxide now we will see reaction with acids now ask me if you have any problem regarding reaction with oxygen to form oxides and reaction with water to form hydroxide do you have any problem in those two topics no no class eighth standard i am addressing to all of you if you have any problem new comers beta fatima yes ma'am yes uh, are you finding any difficulty to begin with because you joined lately just now you joined when well, recently so you may be finding it a uh, a bit there's no connectivity as such but does not matter whatever i am teaching you are you able to understand that is what i want to ask you yes ma'am i am okay okay and are you going through the uploaded video beta as a means of uh, revision sorry are you going through the uploaded video um, you i'm not able video. to understand you, you get a video uploaded video in your link in your class link you get videos isn't it whatever lectures yes. you attended just now are given back to you as uploaded video yes ma'am so the only homework is that you have to go through the uploaded video do you go through it or not yes i will you go through it 
Is yeah. it helpful? Is it helpful to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that is what. This is your homework, beta. So you become very well versed with the ways of the teachers because you have to adjust to the teachers. You are a newcomer, beta. It will take some time, and uh, you know, online is a bit. I find it's a bit difficult than offline. You hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, soon I will try to cover up my studies. Okay. And if at all you have any problem, you can personally WhatsApp me or you can call me any time. Okay, I'm available. Thank Don't worry. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, okay. Welcome, beta. We are we all are for you only. Don't worry. Any problem? It's not about Fatima only. The old oldies also. The ones who know me, you can call me any time. You can WhatsApp me any time. So don't worry about that. I'm always available. Okay, beta. Thank you, ma'am. Hello. Okay, beta. So now we start with a new topic regarding reaction with acids, right, beta? So reaction with acids, metals reacting with acids, and non-metals reacting with acids. So first we will take up metals. So what do we get when metals react with acids? What we get, beta? We get metallic salt. What we get? Metallic salts, and the other one as a byproduct, hydrogen. So whenever metal is reacting with any acid, X, Y, Z. We get the salt of that metal, and hydrogen is liberated. Why I said hydrogen is liberated? That means it is a form of gas. What is hydrogen, beta? It is a gas, so it is liberated. Now let's take an example of zinc. So zinc is reacting with hydrochloric acid, and it is dilute. It is not concentrated. Now what is it mean concentrated? It is thick. Thick means it is pure. When I dilute it with water, that means the consistency or the concentration becomes less. You understand, beta? What is the meaning of dilution? We add yes. water to it. We add water to it to dilute it. What do we get? We get zinc chloride, and hydrogen is liberated. Now let's see the chemical equation. Right, beta? What is this one? Zinc. Zinc, very good. What is this one? Hydrochloride. No, hydrochloric acid. Say with me. Which word? Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. All of you understood now? This is how we will learn better. These are all new words for you, new terminologies. But when we speak up, it becomes very familiar to all of us. Isn't it better? Yes. What do we get? Zinc chloride. Acid. Very good. Zinc. No, it is zinc chloride. It's not acid. Acid is this one. How many acids you will have? This is metallic salt. Zinc chloride is a salt of metal. You understand? Yes. Yes. So this is acid, beta. This is acid. Okay, hydrochloric acid. And what is liberated? Hydrogen. Hydrogen gas. What is liberated, beta? Hydrogen gas. All of you understood? Class. Hello. Okay. If if uh, Kakani Sara joins, just inform me, beta. Is she there in the group? Has she joined? Please put off your mic. Has she? Is she in the group right now, Kakani Sara? No, no. Okay. As soon as she comes, just inform me, beta. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now let's do the other part. How much is zinc bit over here? One. One. How much is zinc over here? Two. One. One. You can. This is one. Okay. This is one. Isn't it? Both are balanced. Agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. How much is C L? Two. Two. How much is Cl? Two. Balanced. How much is hydrogen? Two. Two. How much is hydrogen? Two. Balanced. Now you got it. How we are balancing, beta? Yes. Yes. Okay. Fatima, did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We are revising. We are doing the practice slowly. 
but steadily you will understand you will be comfortable okay beta now yes. we have done with metals so what we got beta we got metallic salt and evolution of hydrogen gas this is what we got so let's take up non metals read beta this but read example zinc reacts with no 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 beta we have already done that most have we done this most non metals now you did most non metals do not re react with acids some non metals like sulfur reacts with concentrated nitric acid to form sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide and water now generally non metals do not react with acid but there are again exceptional cases like sulfur it reacts with nitric acid what it how does it react with it it reacts with nitric acid and what we get sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide and water this is how the non metal reacts with acids let's see okay What is this, beta? Sulfur. How much? One. How much is this? Two. No, it is one. Where is two? After this, there is no two. Mm -hmm. It is one only. After O, it is two, beta. If it is in the bracket, then you can say it is two. But it's not in the bracket, so it is one. How much it is? S one. Is one. So it is also one. Done. Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay. How much is hydrogen over here? Four. Four. How much is hydrogen over here? Four. Two two is a four. Right, beta? Yes. Yes. Okay. How much is nitrogen? Four. Four. Yes. How much is nitrogen? Four. Yes or no? Four. Yes. Yes. How much is oxygen? Four three is a twelve. Right, beta? Yes. Okay. How much is oxygen over here? Two. Mm. How much is oxygen over here? Four to the eight. So it is two. It is eight. And how much is oxygen over here? Two. You add up how much it is. How much yes. it is? Two. So it is balanced. Yes. This is how you have to balance the equations. That you will do detailing in your ninth standard. Okay, so I'm just giving you the trailer. What is going to come in ninth standard? So the, if, if you understand right now, your ninth becomes very easy for you. Okay. So all of you understood? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So sulfur reacts with nitric acid. We get sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and water. Is it understandable to all of you? Yes, you have to learn. You have to learn all these things. I need all the examples along with the chemical equation and the names. Please, don't take things lightly. And I've already told you that this is your homework. Didn't I say that earlier, beta? Whatever I'm showing you is the chemical equations from the uploaded video. You have to write it five times. One by looking at it, and other four times without looking. Have you understood? A standard, yes. or do you want me to write a new link? All the chemical equations have to be written by you five times, along with the formulae. Okay. Okay. For example, example you will write over here: sulfur dioxide. Under this, you will write nitrogen dioxide. Under this, you will write water. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Here, yes. you will write nitric acid. This is how you will learn, beta. Because if you do not put things under it, you will not know what is HNO3. So, if I put, I make you write under HNO3 nitric acid, and you understand. Oh, HNO3 is nitric acid. Is it understandable to all of you? Yes. What am I trying to get at? To make things simpler for you. Okay. So please follow it. If you have not followed it so far, start from start writing right away. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So you have to begin from where, beta? Oxygen. Reaction with oxygen, right? 
metals non metals reaction with water metals non metals reaction with acids metals non metals along with the chemical equation is it clear yes ma'am thank you have you understood this one now reaction with acids can i go to the other slide yes ma'am yes start with precautions to be taken to be demonstrated by the teacher during the preparation of sodium hydroxide solution care should be taken that pellets of sodium hydroxide are handled with a plastic spatula now this is an activity which you have to do in the presence of a teacher or an elder now you have to make sodium hydroxide solution let's make sodium hydroxide solution right how you will make sodium hydroxide solution this is the activity reaction with water remember that what you will do you will take the pellets pellets means tablets small small tablets of sodium hydroxide because you know that it is it can catch fire sodium can catch fire you know that better better so you yes. have to have it with a plastic step you know spatula plastic you are not supposed to use any metal you understand you have to use plastic spatula the pellets should be put on plastic spatula remember okay otherwise uh, it can explode Read. Prepare a fresh solution of sodium hydroxide in a test tube by dissolving three or four pellets of it in five ml of water. Drop a piece of aluminium foil into it. Bring a burning matchstick near the mouth of the test tube. Observe carefully. You can see over here. okay so you will make sodium hydroxide solution by taking three four tablets in 5 ml of water and then put aluminium foil what is aluminium foil you know aluminium foil it's a metal you put it in there and at the end of the test tube you get a matchstick let's see what happens it will give a popping sound what it will give beta popping sound because hydrogen is liberated remember that i told you hydrogen is liberated so when you get a matchstick at the mouth of a test tube you get a popping sound suggesting that hydrogen gas is liberated this is understandable yes now there's another activity here beaker a b c d e so in beaker a what is given beta copper sulfate plus zinc granule so you can see the chemical formula as copper sulfate and zinc granule right beta zn what is beaker b having copper sulfate plus iron nail so cuso4 plus iron is fe next zinc sulfate plus copper turning So zinc sulfate, ZnSO4, and copper means Cu. Next, iron sulfate plus copper turn copper turnings. Iron sulfate is FeSO4 plus copper. Is it clear? Cu. And which was the last one, beta? Zinc sulfate plus iron nail. ZnSO4 plus Fe. Is this clear? so all these beakers are having a to e beakers are having the solution and the metals have you understood this much copper yes. sulfate so you can see this is blue color what is this blue color is the copper sulfate you should know that yes as before the pop sound indicates the presence of hydrogen gas metals react with sodium hydroxide to produce hydrogen gas 
reactions of non metals with bases are complex so earlier what we said that when we are adding metal to the sodium hydroxide solution which gas is produced with a which gas is produced hydrogen hydrogen gas is produced and when we get a match stick at the mouth of the beaker or at the mouth of the test tube what sort of sound is created popping sound is it clear so this is the observation of metals reacting with sodium hydroxide is it clear yes there is reaction with non metals we are not going to take care take 500 ml beaker and label them a b c d and e take about 50 ml of water in each beaker dissolve in each beaker a teaspoon full of each substance so now we are again taking five beakers and uh, earlier we had added only 5 ml of water and now we are adding 50 ml of water in each beaker and in each beaker we will have add only teaspoon of the substance that we are supposed to add what we observe read observation read you have read that red. one man have read read you have read that one metal displaces another metal from its compound in aqua aqueous is, right aqueous solution aqueous solution in beaker a zinc replaces copper from copper sulfate that is why the blue color of copper sulfate disappears and a powder powdery red mass of copper is deposited at the bottom of the beaker the reaction can be represented as follows so when we did the reaction that we made a sodium hydroxide solution and what we added beta sorry copper sulfate solution and then we added zinc to it right beta zinc solid we added zinc to it what happened copper sulfate solution is a blue color solution i repeat copper sulfate solution is a blue color solution and when this blue color solution is this copper sulfate i am adding zinc zn after some time the color goes off showing that the reaction has taken place do you agree with me yes yes all of you beta Rest of you, eight standard. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. I hope you are understanding now in a better manner. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, so the blue color is gone. Now, when the blue color is gone, what does that mean? That there is certain reaction going on, or the reaction is already finished. Right? The reaction is over because there is a change in color. chemical reaction is over so that's why the blue color is gone instead there was there you find a powdery red mass Now, obviously the red mass is of what which gives you the red color it is copper now that copper you can see at the bottom of the beaker again suggesting that the reaction has finished you understand so let's do it like this. copper sulfate plus zinc gives blue gives zinc sulfate plus copper if you see the arrow what does this suggest gives mm. or makes forms mm. you have to use these words isn't it better yes read it again Read it again. Copper sulfate plus zinc is zinc sulfate plus copper 
you can write down the reaction taking place in beaker b in a similar manner all the beakers that we have taken can be made into this sort of equation let's talk about the first one copper sulfate now what is copper sulfate beta cuso4 what is copper sulfate copper cu is copper and so4 is sulfate understood what is the other metal zn what is the other metal zn now what is happening see this zn is joining with so4 is it clear yes so what it is doing beta what it is doing it is displacing copper it is removing copper and coming over here as zinc sulfate do you understand now so it is removing copper taking the place of the copper and becomes zinc sulfate here it is understood and copper is removed this is copper is it understandable to all of you yes ma'am so what it is doing it is displacing copper zinc is displacing copper and taking its place and copper is removed yes or no yes so this is called as displacement reaction what it is called beta replacement reaction can i read yes beta why not there could have been displacement of zinc by copper in a beaker and by iron See, beta, in i think you should read all the alphabets that are written over there in beaker c and by iron in, in beaker, beaker c e. and by iron in beaker e similar iron could be who is reading who is reading adholia huh atika adholia atika adholia beta be careful instead of similarly you are reading similar see the meaning changes beta similarly iron could be displayed iron could be displaced by copper in beaker d since we do the do not see any change in beaker c we can infer that copper is not able to replace zinc from zinc sulfate but why when zinc can replace copper in beaker a why cannot copper replaces zinc in beaker c remember that science is not uh, arbitrary arbitrary it follows def definite definite. rules definite. definite rules based on facts thank you you have to practice better adia hello is practice at home how to read okay beta yes ma'am you will do well don't worry now let's see the other beaker reactions so they are saying that there is could have been displacement of zinc by copper ab we have seen in c then iron and b same thing you could have uh, observed in d iron displaced by copper in c you are not seeing any change that means no color change so what you can say that copper is not replacing zinc there is no change that means no, there is no reaction it is not there is no displacement reaction question is why that zinc can replace copper so why not copper replace zinc ma'am no, can i yes, read no let me explain first beta have you understood what i am saying the yes. question to all of you that zinc is able to replace copper zinc is able to replace copper this is what we saw zinc is able to replace copper so it has taken it has removed copper 
Yes, copper is separated. But copper cannot do that. That means if I'm taking it as zinc sulfate plus copper, there is no reaction. The copper cannot add the zinc sulfate. Why? Or can anyone tell me what could be the reason, Vita? Just whack your brains. When zinc can replace or displace copper, why can't copper replace zinc? This is my question. Can anyone tell me any facts regarding this? Any reason regarding this? When zinc can replace copper, why can't copper replace zinc? Yes, girls, be fast. Anyone? Hello. Are you there, better girls? Yes, ma'am. Yes, tell me. Did you understand my question? I said when zinc can replace copper, why can't copper replace zinc? Because, should I give you the answer? Hello? Ma'am, because uh, so there is a salt solution, let's say. What is salt solution? Where is the solution with the? Copper cannot displace zinc from salt solution. No, but I told you this way. You're not getting my point, Peter. Here, can you see this? This is solution, isn't it? This is solution. And this is the metal. Yes or no? Yes. Zinc is able to replace copper. But if I take zinc sulfate plus copper, copper cannot do that. Copper cannot be made as copper sulfate. And zinc will be removed. No, it is not happening. Why? That is what I am saying. Now, did you understand the question? Yes. Yes. Why? Because zinc is more reactive than copper. Simple. Zinc is more reactive than copper. Copper is not able to react that way as zinc is doing. You understood now? Yes. Zinc is more reactive than copper and hence zinc can displace, copper is not able to do so. As simple as that. Have you understood class? Yes. Yes, ma'am. So this is where you will get the answer. Read better. Yes, who wanted to read? Ma'am, can I read? No, just now someone had asked me. Who was that? I think she fast. Shifa? And who are you, Vita Fatima? Yes. Okay. So ask Shifa to go through and then next uh, slide you take up. Okay, Vita? Okay, ma'am. Shifa, are you there? Hello? Okay, Fatima, you continue. Okay, ma'am. And the rule here is that zinc is more reactive than copper and iron. A more it's reactive dan. metal. Fatima, it is than. It's not then. It is than. Okay. Right? Okay. Yes. And the is rule the here is that zinc is more reactive than copper and iron. A more reactive metal can replace a less reactive metal. But a less reactive one cannot replace a more reactive metal. Now you can understand why there are no, no displacement reactions in beakers D and E also. Now is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, whatever I said just now. That you can see in certain beakers there is a change of color, right? Of the solution, but in other because there is no change. What does it suggest? That certain metals can displace and others cannot. Why? Because they are more reactive than others. Any problem? No. Okay. Is Fatima, you read well better. From which school you have come? 
Uh, ma'am, first I was studying in this school only, okay. but uh, then I went eight months in Iran. Okay. And there I joined international school. Okay. Then again I came you? back in this. School. Did it teach you ever? Yes. Okay, I don't remember as such. Fine, so you know me <laughs> in short. Yes, ma'am, I know okay. you. Okay, okay. So welcome back, I should say. Welcome home. And great. Uh, you feel comfortable as you were earlier. Yes. Okay. Now, now the last one. How the displacement reaction takes place? That metal is replacing other metal. So what we saw, zinc replacing co copper from copper sulfate. This is what we saw, isn't it, better? Let's do it. I shall yeah. continue, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, you continue. Metals replace metals. Uh, A more minute, reactive... I stop you. You said I shall continue. What you should say, actually? Or you should ask me, shall I continue? And you said I shall continue. Right, Bita? There you went wrong. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for... <laughs> no, it's okay. The new... No need to thank me, please. This is how we learn. Okay, you asked me a permission, so that should be a question. But you gave me a statement. But the donation was, intonation was that you were asking a permission, right, Bita? But yes. how to put it? We take it lightly, actually. Let's not, let's learn by doing a practice and let's improve, as simple as that. Okay, so it should be, shall I continue? Okay, Bita? Okay, ma'am. Go ahead. Metals replace metals. A more reactive metal replaces a less reactive metal from its salt solution. Example, magnesium, magnesium replaces copper from copper sulfate solution to form magnesium sulfate and copper. Okay, let's do one by one better. First one is magnesium this is copper sulfate solution, remember. So what is magnesium doing? Magnesium is mixing with sulfate. And it is replacing copper. See? It has replaced copper. Understood now? So what it has become? Magnesium plus sulfate as magnesium sulfate. Is it understandable? Yes. Yes? Okay. Next. Zinc replaces copper from copper sulfate solution to for form. zinc to sulfate form. and copper. Same thing you can see. Zinc plus sulfate, we get zinc sulfate and this copper is over here. Right, Bitter? Yes. Zinc is also replacing copper. Next. Iron replaces copper from copper sulfate solution to form iron sulfate and copper. Same way, iron and sulfate becomes iron sulfate and copper is replaced. Can you see this? Everywhere you got the same thing. Copper is replaced. Is this clear? Yes. Yes. So what is the last? Based on the reactivity of metals, they can be arranged in the decreasing order of their activity. No. Actually, it should be reactivity, isn't it? What should be over here? Reactivity, right? So, yes. what do we do? That how well these metals are reacting, so we can put it in a descending order, most reactive metals on top and the least reactive metals at the bottom. Is it clear? Yes, Vita? Yes, ma'am. So all of you have understood nicely? Yes. yes. Tell me. Any problem? No. No, ma'am. No, ma you learned something? You learned something extra today? Something new? Yes. Yes. Isn't it interesting, science? Yes. Or do you find it difficult? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Firstly, it's a bit difficult, but then we are able to understand. Yeah, obviously, it's a new thing, so it has to be difficult with her. 
that's the reason why i'm asking you rather pleading all of you that please as a revision part go through the uploaded video so the same thing comes back to you if at all you have any doubts earlier will vanish when you go through the uploaded video you understand because at one go you cannot understand your baby is with a your small children you understand what i'm saying yes ma'am and these are all new stuff to you you have never heard of it you have never seen it you have never learned it you have never heard about it so how do i expect that it in one go you will understand it's not possible with that and there's a reason why i gave you the pdf remember of the chapters so that please go through the chapter first and then go to the uploaded video is it clear yes ma'am please go through the chapter first and then you have to go to the uploaded video and go okay. step by step don't go through complete